so this is the second part of uh, lecture 11 so in the first part we have a uh, state and uh, prove the Taylor formula for uh, real valued single variable functions so so here our goal is uh, to state and uh, prove Taylor formula for real valued uh, uh, several variable functions okay so before going to that uh, we give some more definitions so well mm, we define Taylor uh, polynomial first so this page one are some definitions let uh, f uh, be k times uh, differentiable on on open interval a comma b and c is some point in the interval a comma b then the kth order Taylor polynomial of if uh, so about C and that is uh, denoted by polynomial P K comma c polynomial in x so k is the order and about c and polynomial in x and this is equal to summation f i derivative of f at the point c over i factorial times x minus c so this is polynomial so this is power i summation over i equal to 0 to uh, k right <clears throat> so note that uh, if i of c equal to f for i equal to 0 that is f so 0 th derivative of uh, c, the function f c at c equal to f of c okay not so if you write uh, this explicitly this is equal to f of c plus f prime of c this is the first derivative over i one factorial uh, times x minus c plus f double derivative at c over to factorial times x minus c square plus and so on if k derivative at c over k factorial times x minus c power k okay so this is a uh, Taylor polynomial um, of f about c okay of order k and the next definition on the remainder the kth order remainder is given by So remainder k order remainder uh, so that is uh, denoted by r so about c and that is a function in x and this is equal to f of x minus the polynomial p k comma c at x, uh, of x okay so this is the remainder 
<coughs> now so remark remark of uh, the Taylor theorem for single variable real valued function so so remarks more than one p k comma c of x well this is polynomial of degree less or equal to k so when when um, the kth derivative of f at c is not equal to zero then it is uh, poly polynomial of degree k so, so otherwise it is uh, so if it is zero so kth derivative of f at c is zero then uh, then p sub k comma c at x so this is polynomial of degree strictly less than k okay so so, so anyway uh, p sub k comma c of x this is a polynomial of degree less or equal to k okay and second p k comma c at c equal to f uh, f of c so the terms are zero okay so this is equal to c and even uh, even uh, the ith derivative okay of the function f and uh, the polynomial taylor polynomial at c they agree for all i or all i equal to 1 and so on up to k okay so so now we consider some examples page number two so let f of x equal to e power x then p k comma zero okay this is taylor polynomial of uh, of uh, order uh, k about zero is polynomial in x this is equal to summation x power i over i factorial uh, summation uh, through i equal to 0 to k okay and second example f of x equal to cos x okay so f of 0 equal to 1 so p k comma 0 of x equal to so about 0 f of 0 equal to 1 so it starts from 1 and uh, second term um, second term so f uh, prime at 0 that is sign 0 that is equal to 0 so this is uh, so next term is 0 plus uh, f double prime so that is minus one f double prime at zero that is minus cos x that is cos zero uh, that is minus one two factorial times x uh, square and so on okay so this is basically one can check uh, this is equal to uh, summation uh, minus one power i x power 2i over 2i factorial over summation over i equal to 0 to um, so k over 2 so this is the largest uh, integer uh, not exceeding uh, k over 2 okay so uh, 
also uh, this is uh, again we have some uh, remarks so so you uh, here we have uh, some exercise collect more examples okay so here here we have more remarks so you know uh, uh p1 comma c okay at x so what is this this is f of c uh, plus f prime of c x minus c so this is uh, the taylor poly polynomial of order one about c and this is a linear function linear function uh, linear function whose so what is the graph of this whose graph is the tangent tangent line to the graph of graph of f so if uh, so if this is graph of f and uh, so so this is the point um, so c comma f of c okay then then p 1 comma c at x so this is the tangent so equation of this line that is the so graph of uh, graph of this polynomial is the tangent this is the graph graph of graph of uh, p 1 comma c at x and and this is graph of of f okay uh, therefore uh, uh, this is graph of f so this is the best linear approx approximation of f at c okay so remarks this is first remark and second remark so next page is phase number three okay so this is remark two so p k comma c at x this is the polynomial is the polynomial of degree less or equal to k that best approximate the function f that best approximate the function f at c okay and uh, to justify uh, this statement so so to justify the statement to uh, we have the theorem below theorem this is second theorem of lecture 11 uh, this says that suppose f is k times differentiable and the, uh, in in the uh, open interval uh, a comma b and c is a point in the open interval a comma b then then what we have the remainder r k uh, comma c uh, of x over x minus c power k this is equal to zero as a limit x tends to c okay and proof
apply el hospital rule definition so f of x equal to order of gx as x tends to c this means limit x tends to c f of x over g of x this is equal to 0 therefore in the light of this definition uh, therefore r k comma c at x this is equal to order of x minus c power k okay as x tends to c now we are ready to uh, generalize uh, taylor's formula for uh, multivariable uh, functions so next topic is page number no, this is page number four generalization of taylor theorem or formula to f from r into r so here again uh, before going to the statement uh, so we have uh, some definitions so definitions so this let f uh, is a function from r into r into r mm, and x comma t belongs to r n and uh, t equal to uh, t1 and so on t n okay so these are the components of t uh, the first one is if all the partial derivatives of f partial derivative of f uh, at x exist then then f prime x semicolon t this is the summation uh, d i f at x times t i over i equal to 1 to 1 to n and uh, explicitly this is d 1 f at x times t 1 plus and so on plus d n the nth partial derivative of f at x times t n okay and second definition is uh, if all the second order partial derivative if all the second order partial mixed partial derivatives of f at x exist that is for second order partial derivatives d i j i comma j f at x so for all uh, i and j uh, lies between 1 and n so if these uh, partial derivatives exist then then uh, the expression f double prime x semicolon t this is equal to di comma j f at x times t i t j summation over i comma j equal to 1 to 
um, 1 to n so maybe uh, you can write this as double summation i equal to 1 to n j equal to 1 to n d i comma j a bat x times t i t j okay and third one similarly similarly uh, if triple prime x semicolon t equal to summation uh, d i comma j comma k f at x t i t j t k where i equal to 1 to n j equal to 1 to n k equal to 1 to n okay so this is defined when 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 higher order partial derivatives when d i j k f at x for all i j k lies between 1 and n exist okay so similarly uh, this is page number 5 Similarly, if superscript n um, x comma t if x semicolon t are defined when the respective partial derivatives exist. Okay, so here is the um, statement. Of theorem 3 so this is Taylor formula so it says that uh, assume that if and all its partial derivative all its partial derivatives of order less or equal to m are differentiable at each point on some open subset of Rn okay so at or on s where o s is open in rn okay now if a comma b belongs to s such that the line segment joining a and b contained in s then then there exist a point z on the line segment joining a and b such that f of b minus f of a uh, this is so this is real number so this is equal to summation over k equal to k equal to 0 to m minus 1 1 over k factorial times f superscript k x comma semicolon uh, x semicolon b minus b minus a plus 1 over m factorial f superscript with m z comma b minus a okay this is uh, the taylor formula for uh, a real valued several variables function okay so we prove this theorem here prove 
since so again so this is is yes, open in rn so here we have a and b so this is the line segment uh, which contained uh, inside n so there exists a slide so this is line segment so there exists slide uh, extension of this line segment inside s that is as l a comma b contained in s so there exists some delta greater than zero such that a plus t times b minus a belongs to s for all t lies between this is strict one plus delta and minus minus delta and one plus delta so okay now we define a function g from minus delta op open interval minus delta 1 plus delta to r by g of x this is equal to f of a plus x times b minus a okay this is how it defined now <clears throat> now here we can apply uh, theorem one that is uh, the taylor formula for single variable real valued functions okay so this is page number six so here we can apply uh, theorem one uh, theorem one gives so theorem one gives uh, <coughs> g1 minus g0 this is equal to okay so here i think uh, so uh, i should uh, revise my statement so here for k equal to 0 we have taken uh, f of a on the left hand side so this summation is over k equal to 1 to uh, m minus 1 so okay so this is corrected one so g of 1 uh, minus g of 0 that is equal to uh, summation g superscript with k uh, <coughs> uh, at uh, 0 k factorial summation over k equal to 1 to uh, m minus minus 1 <coughs> okay uh, plus g power g superscript with m at theta over m factorial where theta lies between 0 and 1 so this is a straightforward application of theory 1 now now g <coughs> k at 0 so now we compute so compute uh, g superscript with k at 0 so <coughs> so okay so g of what is g of x this is equal to let us write the expression f at a plus x times b minus a okay and uh, this is equal to f compose with uh, p at x where p at x equal to a plus x times b minus a okay and uh, so if you if you write it uh, explicitly so so this is equal to so this implies p of x equal to if a equal to 
if a equal to a1 so let me write here uh, a equal to a1 and so on a n and b equal to b1 and so on b n then uh, then uh, one can write p of x so x is real number so p of x equal to a1 uh, plus x times uh, b1 minus a1 comma and so on uh, uh, a n plus x times b n minus a n okay <clears throat> this is the uh, explicit expression and the case so this is uh, 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 p is function from r to r n so component functions are p i of x equal to a i uh, plus x times b i minus a i these are the component function p equal to p1 and so on p n okay so these are the component functions <coughs> now uh, basically we want to calculate uh, um, g superscript with k at uh, zero so now so so for k equal to so for k equal to uh, one for k equal to one uh, g prime at uh, zero or g prime uh, at x okay so from uh, this equation we have uh, by by using chain rule we have uh, g prime of x equal to summation uh, d d uh, j if uh, at the uh, point p of x okay and uh, then the jth partial jth uh, so mm, uh, this is b j minus a j okay summation of our j equal to 1 to n and uh, this is um, exactly equal to um, this is actually equal to f uh, prime at uh, px okay semicolon b minus a and next page is page number seven and g pr um, double prime at x oh uh, <clears throat> this is equal to summation uh, i equal to 1 to n j equal to 1 to n d i comma j f p of x b j minus a j times times b i minus a i okay and uh, this is equal to f double prime uh, p at x semicolon so here we have semicolon uh, b minus a okay and similarly g m at x this is equal to f m p of x semicolon b minus a and using using the equation g0 minus so yeah, this is equation 1 so using equation 1 
we have so using uh, equation one we have the theorem so where z equal to a plus theta b minus a and this theta lies between 0 and 1 and this belongs to l a comma b so this is the proof so we stop here